I don't believe it. Oh, oh we have a terrible oh. Reggie sees the man! <laughs> OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing i've had like a busy crazy well i'm always gonna be busy i was out of town doing a lot of stuff doing whatever we're here let's talk about this news but before we get started we have to give the video a huge destroy that like button thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up we have so much dope news and we're starting with xenoblade chronicles three a couple a couple of dope news items specifically for xenoblade this morning then we have some other news items but first bro xenoblade chronicles 3 the reviews are in and the game is surpassing every expectation first it stands at a very very solid 89 89 on metacritic which is great when reviewers unanimously or there's a broad consensus of great reviews usually the game is going to be outstanding some notable reviewers destroy destructor gave it a 95 um let me see, let me show some other ones what did ign give the game um Nintendo Life gave it a perfect 100. That's crazy. Uh, a lot of just a lot of solid, solid PC games gave it a 90. Um, and so the game has gotten great reviews. IGN Drea gave it a 90. I don't know what IGN actually gave it, but regardless. Oh, IGN right here. Oh, IGN was on the low end. Oh, IGN only gave it an 80. This is what the... One sentence from Metacritic from IGN says, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 can take some meandering detours across the massive 150 hour campaign, RIP the rest of my video game life. But great characters and addictive tactical combat make it well worth the time. And I tell you this, I've beaten Xenoblade Chronicles X, which many say is the worst in the series, but I love the combat. That's what kept me addicted. The combat is solid and it looks like the combat in this game is going to be solid too but um it, overall great reviews 89 on metacritic which is very 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 solid solid and speaking of xenoblade bro um digital foundry did a digital an analysis of the game and also also surpassed all of my expectations the overall is this is what the, they said. Um, improved visuals, animation, and image quality are just the tip of the iceberg. So improved visuals, visuals, and animation, and image quality are in this game over Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We're going to talk about it too in a second. But in a nutshell, 1080p when docked, 720p handheld, targeting 30 frames per second, which an open world huge RPG for on the Switch is real good. It's real good. And this is very good considering Xenoblade Chronicles 2 was running at sub HD. It wasn't even at HD. Uh, many parts um, running on the Switch. Uh, that's one of the reasons I just stopped playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I was like, man, that's too much. I got this brand new, spent thousands of dollars on this 4K TV, and then my eyes was bleeding. But um, it looks like the game is improved, the visual quality. That's dope. That's dope. And at the end of the day, we all know the Switch is a, a hybrid handheld, so there's only so much they can do with the specs. But Digital Foundry says that this is one of the games that pushes the Switch's technical capabilities to the limit, which is dope, 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 dope. All right. Let's change gears for a second and talk about Nintendo Switch Online. Nintendo Switch Online, the app, 
has been updated. I do have the app on my phone. Where's my app? Where's my app? It's right here. The app has been updated. And what comes with this update? The ability to send friend requests through the app. Welcome to 2022, Nintendo. <laughs> Come on, bro. This should be a no-brainer. And so now you can actually um, send friend requests directly through the app. You don't have to depend on the Switch to add someone, which is which is dope. Nintendo just needs a general over. And I tell you this, I'm starting to not even care about achievements anymore. Where's my dead horse? R.I.P. My dead horse. It's already dead, but R.I.P. The dead horse. Where is my dead? Oh, there it is. Wow. Oh. I haven't been caring that much about um, uh, achievements. I've been starting, I'm st I just started doing this. When I beat a game, I post the uh, final boss battle when I beat the boss on TikTok, Obi-Wan plays on TikTok. And that's what I've been doing. That's my my own pseudo, pseudo achievements for myself, so whatever. But it's good that Nintendo is slowly, and I tell you this, Nintendo has been improving where you could send party invites and stuff like that directly to other people that's been dope how they've been improving their online services gradually so way to go in the right direction nintendo way to go all right the next news item bro it could finally be happening we could be getting mario kart 8 dlc Booster Pack 2. Booster Pack 2. It looks like it could be coming. And here's why. Um, that um, Nintendo's doing some kind of online maintenance. I think it's July 28th, which is tomorrow. Which has many speculating that they're getting ready. They're getting ready for a Booster Pack 2. Uh, Booster Course DLC Pack 2 announcement. So keep your ears peeled, your eyes peeled. We could be getting more, more content. And if you have Nintendo Switch Online, um, there's so many names to it. Deluxe Edition, whatever the online is, it comes free. It comes free. If you don't have it, it's $24.99. I think that's how it works. So <laughs> the expansion pack, if the expansion pack is free, I think. I think <laughs> I got it. <laughs> so, um, Mario Kart Nintendo is milking the Mario Kart franchise. When are we going to get Mario Kart 9? I don't think anytime soon, and I'm going to tell you why in a second. But first, Mega Man. Let's talk about Capcom. M Capcom has just announced that the Mega Man franchise has hit 38 million sold which is phenomenal 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 this caused me to think about we have one of the best Mega Man games on Nintendo Switch online service Mega Man the Willy Wars on the um, Nintendo Switch online the Sega Genesis um, app it's three games in one arguably th the three best games or Mega Man 2 and Mega Man 3 in my opinion, are the best two in the series. You got Mega Man 1, Mega Man 2, and Mega Man 3 remastered and upgraded to 16-bit graphics. Come on, bro. You gotta play it. You gotta play it. Classic games. But 38 million is nothing to shy at. Even though Animal Crossing probably did that in one or two years. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, and the last news item for this video. And this is why I want to talk about why we're not going to get Mario Kart nine anytime soon uh nintendo has revealed the most um sold most downloaded nintendo switch eShop titles in japan for 2022 and number one pokemon rcs is number one kirby and the forgotten land is number two nintendo switch sports 3 monster hunter rise number four and guess what's number five mario kart 8 <laughs> Mario Kart 8 is Deluxe is number 5. And this game is a remake of the Wii U version. This this is why we're not getting Mario Kart 9. Because Mario Kart 8 continues to sell in gangbusters. It's that simple. I do. That's all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, 
click that subscribe button stay up to date all things name 10 though we're out this channel that i'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when i had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers, man. And um, he's probably gonna lose shit when I do this, but hey, man, I gotta say, my boy OB1, my boy OB1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this shit on a smaller level. His channel, when I look at it, it's such a nostalgia trip, and he has a really cool audience too, man. And if you could show this nigga some love too, that'd be awesome. I don't shout people out unless I like them a lot, a lot. I'm picky with that. Um, anyways, my boy Obi One, your boy Obi One. Hey man, I got you right here, my boy. Get that man a little bit of a look, man. He reminds me of me when I was smaller. You want to take a look in the past, my boy? This is the way you do it. I got you, Jedi homie. Master, the right Jedi here. Master. <laughs> I got you, man. You're playing two towers. I got you, homie. Dedicating a workout set, to you, my boy. Let's go, guys. Right? Four, twenty-five. 26, 27, 28. He said he ain't on the end.